Okay, so here's how we have everybody start. Everybody stand still on the ice, arms up, feet wide apart, past shoulder width. You dip one knee down and keep the other knee straight. All your weight goes over. You can show them you can pick that foot up. All the weight goes over to the bent knee side and that other foot is standing, staying out to the side. This is to teach them to transfer their weight. Now you have them start with their feet together, dip, and then push to that position, one knee bent, one knee straight. It will push them around in a little circle. They may not be able to control that very well, that's okay. The important thing is the dip, the push, stay down on the knee, one knee bent, one knee straight. That's always the rule. Then you're going to have them do that same thing from a moving start. So you're going to have everybody line up. Everybody goes skate, 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 glide, dip, push and have them stay in that position, down on their knee, one leg bent, one leg straight, hold that circle. Learn that body position, the weight is over the bent knee and the back is straight. They're gonna wanna dip their shoulders down over that bent knee. So have everybody do this. This is the important part where they learn to control that. Then they do the other side, dip and push. All the weight stays over. They're gonna lean a little bit over that circle and this is where they're gonna learn that crucial piece. Then you're going to ask them to finally put it all together into the actual pumps on the circle exercise. I have them start skating to begin with because it's hard from a standstill. Dip, push, stand up. Dip, push, stand up. Dip, push, stand up. That dip is extremely important because otherwise they won't get a good push. And that's the basis of learning a good stroking technique of having a bent knee before the stroke starts. I hope that's been helpful and maybe that'll help um, organize your